What's going on, Aces? Welcome back to the channel. A big congratulations to Nelly and Ashanti, who has successfully given birth to her baby boy. She wrote here in a caption on her Instagram. She says, funny how life's plans aren't dot, 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 always on time, LOL. I've been waiting to be a mom for a long time now, but nothing could prepare me for everything motherhood brings. This is what postpartum looks like. I'm loving these super cozy at Freedom Mom shorts. I'm so proud of my body for giving me my baby, 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 baby. <laughs> Congratulations, Ashanti. I love the way she moves. Like if you guys remember before she got married and pregnant to Nelly, um, people were saying how she was just perpetually on vacation. And I'm like, listen, I was not mad at it, especially after her opening up to Angie Martinez on her radio show or now podcast, but just about all of the horrible things that she went through behind the scenes with Irv Gotti, essentially stalking her and blackballing her and blacklisting her um, because she didn't want to, you know, continue that um, relationship with him, that illicit relationship, I guess. But she said that, you know, he was just really, he was just out of pocket, right? He was just not an ethical, uh, you know, manager, someone that was supposed to be a mentor in the music industry. And I feel like the more we learn about the music industry, I mean, between R. Kelly and Diddy, and those two were an open secret, but everything behind the scenes, you know, Maya, um, she alluded on how she was essentially blacklisted because she didn't want to do things that she was uncomfortable with. And she recently came out about her celibacy. She's been celibate for about, was it seven years? I think I did a video about it. But going back to Ashanti, you know, her and Nelly have been married since December 2023 and nobody knew, right? But listen, they're good and grown. It was nobody's business. But I just love the fact that she was able to do things on her own time, you know? Like, people put so much relationship advice and so much pressure on young women. And I feel like there's a very um, thin line, uh, you know, a tightrope almost that you feel like you're walking where you don't want to have your baby too early or people will, you know, say negative things. You don't want to have your baby too late or people will say negative things. You don't want to, like, it's just, it's too much pressure. It's too much you know, societal pressure that gets pushed on women. I think you have a window between 25 to 27 or something crazy. Like that is socially acceptable. And after 27, people are like, hmm, you know, what's wrong with her? She's a spinster or whatever the case may be. It's crazy. I'm so glad Ashanti was able to do what she needed to do, take time for herself. And then when she was ready, come back, fall in love again with Nelly, get married, you know, um, and do their own thing separately, have their honeymoon phase, and then give birth to a baby when she was ready to do so. Like, I'm here for it. That's actually really is aspiring and inspiring to me because, um, yeah, there, there's so many people that will just be in your ear saying all these these negative things about how they think that you should run your life when in fact you look at how they ran their lives and um not to be judgmental but you just you don't want to emulate that same path right and everyone's path is different we're all different you know so congratulations to Ashanti and Nelly they have a beautiful, healthy baby boy. I'm going to read this article from People. It says Ashanti is a mom. She's 43 years old. Her husband, Nelly, who's 49 years old, has welcomed their baby, their first baby together, sharing the exciting news on Instagram. Um, so she is getting her coin with her disposable underwear. I know that's right. Stack, listen, stack little Kareem's um, college fund and get your coins. Ashanti and Nelly welcome their baby boy, Kareem Kim Cade Haynes, um, on July 18th, 2024. The people are super proud. 
Um, they are happy parents. They're so in love with KK. <laughs> That's cute. A representative for um, the Couple Tells People magazine. Ashanti also shared a video of herself in a, a, a blue robe showing off her body. She said she's four weeks postpartum. She says, you have no idea what this body can do. That is amazing. A lot of people on social media, just a side note, were saying that Nelly was out here getting arrested and acting a plum fool um, with not having insurance, with, you know, the uh, illegal substances, <laughs> while his wife was at least, what, two weeks postpartum. So at 49, right, at 49, um, Nelly, and with as many resources as Nelly has, uh, sir, I just, you know, we want him to do better and to be there for his wife and his newborn son. Uh, let's see, keep scrolling. She says, um, I already read the caption. She got ready for a performance and her mom, Tina Douglas, you guys remember her mom. We love, I love her mom anyway. Um, when they did that video emulating the Goodfellas, <clears throat> her mom was hilarious. She asked her how much time she needed and, and um, Ashanti told her mom, I'm gonna need nine months. And her mom, she said, looked shocked, which is really cute. The singer shared the news in essence, revealing that she was not only pregnant, but that she and Nelly were engaged. She said, the new year of my life is such a blessing, full of love, hope, and anticipation. Motherhood is something that I have looked forward to and sharing this with my family, fiance, and loyal fans who have been so supportive of my career. It's an amazing experience. Nelly and Ashanti tied the knot on December 27th, 2023. Uh, they first celebrated them, them being a couple together at the 11th Black and White Ball at the Four Seasons Hotel in December. And they first sparked pregnancy rumors during a moment when they were both on stage. So the singer rested her, her hands on her stomach as the rapper noticed. <laughs> he did the same. The two made eye contact before busting into big smiles and laughter. And so many fans picked up on the hint that there was baby news to share. Nelly confirmed that the couple was back together in September of 2023. That was quick. But listen, in your 40s, you don't play around. So yeah. Um, he was on Boss Moves with Rashida, saying that the reconciliation surprised both of them. She, he said, um, it wasn't anything that we planned. We were both pretty much doing what we do. But sometimes being separate, you understand one another more. And you could be like, well, yo, well, yo let, me, <laughs> let me exactly see maybe what they see. We can all be defensive sometimes in our own relationships. We know we wrong, but we gonna stand on it. You know what I mean? <laughs> but we are victim to all of that. <laughs> that quote, I mean, it, just, it sounds exactly like Nelly. That was word for word, bar for bar. Nelly was already a dad to son Cornell the third, who goes by Trey, who's twenty five, and a daughter Chanel, who goes by Nana, who's thirty. They did not call. They did not call her Nana at 30. <laughs> I love us. We can come up with some nicknames, can't we? Her name is Chanel. They could have called her Nelly or Nell Nell or I don't know. Nana. Okay, that's cute. Anyway, the rapper also helped raise his niece, Sydney, and his nephew, Sean, after his sister, Jackie Donahue, um, passed away from leukemia at the age 31 in March of 20. 2005. That is so sad. I'm so sorry to hear that. And rest in peace to Phil Donahue too. I need to make a separate video about him, but yeah, her name was Jackie Donahue. That is, that's sad. Um, I'll link this article so you guys can read it. But again, congratulations to Ashanti. I'm so happy to hear that she is, you know, healing and her and her baby are healthy and happy. I hope that Nelly, you know, looks at them and sees a reason to, you know, stay home, stay, <laughs> at least not at, you know, three, four in the morning with pills and potions and whatnot. Like, sir, you're, you'll be 50 um, very soon, very, very soon, Laura willing, right? That's, I mean, that's the goal. Cause you know, 
the alternative of to not aging is not being here. So, you know, I always say that growing old is a blessing that not everybody has the you know opportunity to experience. So we want to do that. And especially now that he has a newborn, I didn't realize that his other children were so much older. Um, so he was having those kids when he was in his early 20s. But I mean, listen, the good news is, right? I feel like when you're an older parent, you have a level of maturity that you can bring to your child raising. And um, of course, you know, they both have the financial stability. So I just hope that he's there for, you know, Shanti, I hope that her mom, of course, is there. I'm sure, you know, they're really close. But congratulations again to Ashanti and Nelly. And um, hopefully we get to see some pictures soon. If they do have, you know, get an exclusive with people, I'll be the first to let you guys know. Um, but until then, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will talk with you in the next one. Take care, aces. Bye.